One of my friends went to Turkey last year and lost over $10,000 to scammers. He wanted to show off his money and did something dumb, which I can't believe he would do. Turkey is known for being one of the most tourist locations in the whole world. But it's not always sunny days in there. It is also a place where you could end up losing a lot of money if you aren't careful. So in this video, I will tell you some things you should never do during your visit to Turkey. Let's get into the video. Number 7. Always ask for the prices first. I get it. Everything in Turkey is relatively cheaper. But it's a blunder not to ask for the prices beforehand. Wherever you are or whatever you are doing, mandatorily ask how much it costs. Nothing has a fixed price in Turkey. You'll be charged based on how much they think they can get from you. Always let the shopkeeper quote the first price. If they ask, what will you pay? You should counter, what's the price? Their price will be higher than what they expect you to pay. Then starts the bargaining. There's no fixed formula for making your counter offer, but it's better to start off with half or one third of their asking price. Especially while shopping, you should always bargain, whether you go to the Grand Bazaar or a shopping mall. You'll usually get the items for 60 or 70% of their initial asking price. Number six, don't fall into romance scams. If you've fallen in love with some Turkish guy or girl over the internet, or even when you're in Turkey, chances are that you're getting scammed. That's what happened to my friend. One girl he met in Turkey held him hostage and stole over $10,000 just after a week of meeting and hanging out together. Also, U.S. Mission Turkey receives as many as 100 inquiries monthly about these scams, and 90% of victims never even report the crime. So think about how common it is. So don't ignore any red flags. Don't give money when they ask. Don't go to private places with just them. Run away if something looks fishy. The best idea is to avoid getting involved in these kinds of activities at all. Number five, don't act like you have money. Never do things in Turkey that make other people feel like you have enough money. The asking price for everything instantly rises if you look rich. If you want to show off your wealth, there are only a few areas, like the affluent neighborhoods in larger cities, where you can do it comfortably. But if you're in smaller or more conservative towns and rural areas, try to look modest. If you try to flaunt, it automatically makes you stick out, and you become an easy target for scammers. The best rule is to blend in as much as possible. Wearing simple clothes means you respect their culture and also are less prone to getting scammed or overcharged. Number four, don't ride a taxi without a logo. Turkish taxi drivers love ripping off tourists. They'll either take the extra long route to your destination or claim their meter is broken and overcharge you at the end. Always take cabs that are connected to a taxi stand. You can distinguish them by the logos on their door which means they work for a stand instead of operating on a corrupt basis. You can also ask your hotel's reception to call you a cab from a nearby stand. Ask for the price up front and only ride it if it sounds okay. You can also use the Batoxi app to book cabs online. It pre-calculates the rates, which motivates the driver to take the most direct route to your destination. Number three, don't focus solely on tourist areas. When most people visit Turkey, they always try to stick with the most tourist areas like the Sultanahmet, Cappadocia, and the Bosphorus Strait. But the prices in most of these famous places have got overpriced recently. There is so much more to see outside the usual touristic haunts, which will cost you much less. Spend a day or two seeing the major sites, but also visit more local areas that have more authentic vibes to offer. Go to hidden gem towns like Amazra, Alakati, Kumkoy, and Injigum. You can have a truly memorable experience in Turkey. If you aren't comfortable going to the, the countryside alone, find some tour companies that run personal and group tours nationwide. Number two, learn the Turkish language. This could be your biggest mistake and might cost you a lot. In popular tourist areas of big cities like Istanbul, people speak English. But most Turkish people are not fluent in English. People will charge you more when you look and act like a complete stranger to the place. There will be times when you could get lost between things and end up in a very untouristy community that looks like a country village. If you know some Turkish phrases, you can ask the locals what to do and where to go. If not, there is a high chance they will get some money from you. There might also be miscommunication in many instances, and you could end up paying more. So learn some essential words and phrases that are used daily. 
You'll make it easier on yourself and also the local people. Number one, don't stay close to tourist attractions. Even when you're planning to visit the main tourist attractions, it's better to stay far off in the distance. Many tourists have the misconception that staying near tourist attractions, either in hotels or lingering during the day, is safer. But in Turkey, that is not the case. Not only are these places expensive, but you're also more at risk of getting pickpocketed or scammed. Stay in the local neighborhoods, where accommodations are much cheaper. During the day, go beyond the typical tourist attractions to see a different side of the city. Most big cities have good public transportation systems, so it won't be a problem for you to get to where you want. So these are the things not to do in Turkey if you want to save money. If you've visited there before, let me know your experience in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications for more budget travel content. Also, follow us on Instagram at Cheap Travel Buddy for more content. Have a good day. Keep traveling.